Hi guys, in this video, you will learn how to get RSS feeds of any website on your own WhatsApp automatically. So guys, if you are the ones who want to stay up to date on the latest news and informations, but you do not have the time to manually check multiple sources of information and news. So guys, this automation is for you. Here we are going to integrate RSS feed of any website with your own WhatsApp so that Whenever there is a new feed in the RSS section of the website, you'll receive the link of that feed on your WhatsApp automatically. And after that, you can share the news with your friends and family seamlessly. And guys, we are going to set up this automation with just few steps, super simply. So let's begin. So we are setting up this automation using Pavli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli. And you can sign up for, for free from here and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link and after that you can sign in and you have to select then Pavli Connect product and you'll see the dashboard of Pavli Connect like this. And from here guys you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as RSS feeds on WhatsApp and after filling the name just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page guys you will find these these two modules the trigger and the action so with the help of these two things we can set up any automation so guys trigger is that event which is going to kickstart this workflow and the action would be the automated response or the consequence of the trigger so guys here in our use case, uh, we are fetching RSS feeds of any website. So here our trigger application would be RSS by Pavli. So RSS by Pavli is a feature of Pavli Connect by which you can connect with the RSS feed of any website. So here you can see we have this feature, just select it. And then you have to select the trigger event as new item in feed. All right. And then you have to click on this connect button. All right, so here you can see this trigger is going to check in every 20 minutes for new feeds in the RSS. And if it finds a new feeds, the workflow is going to trigger and you'll receive the feed link on WhatsApp. Okay, and here it is asking for the feeds URL. So guys, here you have to paste the feed URL of the RSS section of the website. So for example, I am here in the RSS section of NDTV website. And here I'm going to copy this business RSS feed section. Okay, so you just have to copy the link address like this and you have to paste this link address here like this. Okay, now you have to click on save and send test request button and the most recent feed of the RSS section of the website will be fetched here in this response section. Here you can see we have received this response here it is showing the title of the feed, who gained and who lost from budget 2023. The publication date is 1st of February and this is the link of the feed, okay. And these are all other details. This is the content snippet or the content of the feed as well. So let me show you the same here in this business RSS section of NDTV. Here you can see guys the topmost uh, title of the feed is this who gained and who lost from budget and this is the same got captured here right now to send this on your own whatsapp we are using this action step in this action step we are going to connect with interact application which is a business solution provider of whatsapp and with the help of this you can get the api access of whatsapp and send or receive messages on whatsapp so here in this action event, we are going to use this send WhatsApp template message. Okay, then click on connect from here, select a new connection. And here it is asking for the secret API key of interact application. And you will find this key in the settings page. Let me show you that also. This is my interact application. Here is the settings option on the bottom left hand side. Here you have to click on settings. Under settings page, you will find this developer setting option. And here is the secret key. You just have to copy it and you have to paste it here in this field and then click on save and you will be connected with interact like this. 
and here it is asking for the country code and the phone number and the full phone number. So here guys, you have to place your WhatsApp number, an active valid WhatsApp number. Okay. So if you can leave these two fields blank and directly put your WhatsApp number here in this format with the country code and the plus sign. So let me just copy this also, this only, and let me place it here. Okay. And here it is asking for the template codes name. So guys to send messages on WhatsApp, you must create templates beforehand in interact application. So templates are the pre created message structures, which you can use to send messages on WhatsApp to multiple people automatically. Okay, so let me show you the template section of interact. This is the templates page and here are the templates I have created. And for this purpose, I have created this template named as RSS feeds. And in this message template, you can attach a header. And in this header, you can send a text message, an image, a video or a document. Or uh, you can leave it blank. Also, you can select none. And here you can see the body of the message. And the message I have typed is this here is updates detail from this on this section. Okay. And here is the title and here is the link. Okay. So in this message, you can see we have this one, two, three, and four placeholders or the body variables. These are the variables in which you can place the data, which is going to change with every new message. Like you can change the title, you can change the link, you can change the website address and the RSS feed sections name as well. Okay. Right. So guys, uh, now what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to uh, put the template codes name here. So to find the code name, you just have to open the message here, the template here. And you can see guys in the topmost link in the search bar. After this template slash and before this slash view, this is the template code. Okay, so you just have to copy this and you have to paste it here in this uh, template code name, then you have to fill the language code. So I'm uh, creating the templates in English. So the name, the code of English language is EN. Okay. Then it is asking for the header value. So if you have something in the header of the message, you can place the value here. Right now we do not have any. So I'm leaving it blank. In the body variables field, you have to put the values of the body variables and comma separated items. Okay. Here you can see we have one, two, three, and four body variables. So I'm going to put the values of these variables here in this uh, body body variable field so that the values will be placed in a new message in these places automatically. Okay. So here you can see update details from the first variable is for the uh, website name of RS, uh, the website name from which you are getting the feed. So uh, you can see if you have the details of that website here in this first, uh, first step, you can see we do not have the website name. Okay, so I'm going to fill it manually here. Okay, so NDTV is the website's name. Then I'm going to put a comma. Secondly, we have uh, the sections name. So if you have the sections de section details, you can find it from the first step. Or if you don't have the section details, you can put manually here, business section, then put a comma again. And the third body field body variable is for the title and the link. So the title, you will find the title of the RSS feed from this first step, you can see as I'm clicking here, the previous step is appearing here in the drop down. And by clicking on it, you can find all the details here only just map the title, then put a comma, then click here again and map the link as well. Okay. Now guys, the things that you are mapping here are going to change with every new message. But the things that you are entering here manually is going to remain static. So this WhatsApp automation is for uh, a specific website and specific RSS section because we have put the details here manually. Okay. And the things that you're mapping here is going to change with every new feed published on the website. Okay. Right. And here it is asking for the position of CTA button. So you can also have call to action buttons here in this template message. Right now we do not have any button. 
but if we have the button you can select the position of it from here zero and one are the two positions and here you can uh, uh, place a redirection link of that CTA button for the customers or users okay right now we are leaving these things blank now you can check your connection with WhatsApp by clicking on save and send test request button and a test message will be sent to this WhatsApp number so guys let me show you how the message is going to appear on WhatsApp so here I am clicking on save and send test request button and I am going to receive a message on my WhatsApp account so this is the response I got and let me show you my WhatsApp account here you can see I have received a new message and the message is this the updates from NDTV on business section title who gained and who lost from budget this is the link of the RSS section and this is the same link of the RSS feed so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever you are going to have a new feed in this RSS section of the website this workflow is going to trigger and send you the WhatsApp messages like this on your WhatsApp and guys you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel